one. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. Today we're taking a look at a thrilling 30th anniversary Generations figure, and it's Brainstorm. So I've had this figure for a few weeks now, and I haven't gotten around to review it, and I figured, you know what, it's Sunday, it's a nice fun day, let's go ahead and take a look at a Headmaster. So this is the first official uh, retail version of a Headmaster that Hasbro has given us. We did get a Scorponok, which was really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, this is the first actual retail line figure we've gotten in the Headmasters probably since Generation 1 from Hasbro, which is really, really cool. Now, this figure notoriously had a quality control issue where there was a screw that was kind of in the middle of the little Headmaster unit's head, and it would snap off during transformation. Hasbro supposedly has fixed the manufacturing process, and this particular figure is one of those fixed figures. And there is a video that I put out, thanks to a fellow Transformers fan who gave me this information. Uh, I will put a link to it right here, and uh, it explains how to tell if you have a fixed figure. So, yeah, definitely cool stuff. So. Package, just like all the other 30th anniversary figures, uh, we get this, you know, Transformers Generations, the really cool 30th anniversary logo. Um, it says the head converts to the pilot. We've got Brainstorm and Package. Here is the artwork uh, that kind of wraps around the box, looking really, really cool. Of course, he's got the Autobot logo down there. Um, underneath, you can get Skybite is his wave mate, which is a really cool figure. I have reviewed that before. Um, here's the side of the package. He is an Autobot. He is uh, number two of the series, number nine out of the second series, I'm sorry. Uh, and then we got the thrilling 30th logo up here. Back of the package, again, just like all the others, uh, we have him in robot mode, we have him in jet mode. There is his head as the pilot. We have his tech specs and the little write-up. Um, if you want to look at the tech specs, you may pause and do so. Um, if you want to read the write-up, you may pause and do so. So yeah, definitely pretty cool looking. Let's go ahead and get him out of the package and see what we think. So here we have Brainstorm out of the package, and my first impressions are good. I do like the figure. It's a nice design of the character. Brainstorm was never one of my favorite headmasters. I personally liked Chrome Dome the best. Maybe that's because that was the headmaster I had as a kid, but this is definitely an interesting figure, and I held off from buying Fans Project Smart Robin because I knew this figure was coming out, uh, and I figured I'd just go ahead and get the Hasbro version for, you know, having something different. Uh, but yeah, definitely cool. I do like the sculpt. Uh, he's very well built. He feels pretty solid, all except for that head. Um, now, I did pull this thing off uh, after I got it out of package and started messing around with it. I pulled this thing off about four or five, six times. I completely understand why the first production of these things broke so easy, because that head on the Headmaster, it, there are good points to it, but I see why it broke. Um, it's just not very well done. It was a great idea, but a bad concept. Now, he does come with a pair of twin blasters uh, that have the same powder blue look, and it's got the silver paint apps, and then it's got kind of a dark uh, hole down there. I thought it was plastic, but it's just a hollow hole. Um, yeah, definitely cool. So he comes with a set of these. Obviously, they go into jet mode as well as uh, for blasters for the figure itself. Now... It's supposed to have his wings out like this. Um, I don't care for that because, well, it just looks too wide for me, and it doesn't look roboty enough. Uh, and the, the jet wings, I think personally, I like them folded back. I think it gives him more of a robotic appearance and less like a seeker uh, to me. I don't know. 
that's just me. Uh, looking at the figure, the detail is really, really nice. Um, there he is with the little headmaster unit on. Love the paint picks, love all the detail. Um, he stands really well, um, but uh, before I get to the head, let's take a look at his little strength bar thing here. So you're supposed to be able to put the head down and this pops out. However, on my figure, this doesn't really work so well. Um, it does convert into a cockpit. Uh, which is really, really nice. Now, as far as the head, the articulation is really, really nice on this guy. There's a lot of motion, and that's all about the design of the little headmaster unit itself. Now, to get the headmaster unit off of the figure, you want to push this piece down because it's going to kind of release. Um, hey, look, that head actually popped out. Um, it's going to release the head a little bit. So you're going to hold that down and then kind of gently roll the head forward and you're going to be able to get it off without any damage. Um, looking at that neck piece, this is why it has such good motion um, because this little guy's head is on a ball joint, but look how thin that is. That's why those early productions were breaking. I don't know if they just built it with a better plastic, what the difference was. But yeah, I can definitely see why there was an issue. And you just plop him back on there, um, just like you would any other Headmaster. So let's take a look at the Headmaster unit himself. Go ahead and pull him off. Transformation on this guy is very simple. He is a Headmaster. You simply rotate his feet down, and well, that's it. <laughs> he is a very, very tiny little guy. He's got... He's got a, a weird little smirk on his face. Uh, he does have some paint apps on his face and a little little bit of yellow up there. Um, his arms are kind of painted in on the sides. These do move, but not by much. Um, they're really just the sides of his uh, head, which just kind of hangs out on the back there. Uh, I mean, it's just a 21st century version. Uh, unfortunately, there's just very little articulation on this guy at all, um, which is kind of a shame. I would like to have seen something a little bit more articulated with him. For size comparison, here's Brainstorm with KFC's Transistor, AKA Not Blaster. Here's Brainstorm next to Transformer Armada's Laser Beak. Here's Brainstorm next to Transformers Combiner Wars Skydive. Here's Brainstorm with Transformers Age of Extinction Evasion Mode Optimus Prime with the DX Armor Upgrade Kit. Here's Brainstorm with Fans Project Headmaster Code. It, the size comparison is not too terribly bad. Um, obviously, this figure is much larger than this figure, but considering he turns into a car and he turns into a big space jet, it actually works out pretty well. I don't mind it. Definitely going on the shelf with all the other headmasters. Here's Brainstorm with the other fans project headmaster that I have. Quadruple U, aka Not Weird Wolf. And again, just like Code, he is bigger, but he turns into a big space plane, whereas Quadruple U turns into a wolf. So again, they scale pretty decently together. Here's Brainstorm with fans project Sigma L, aka Not Mind Wipe. And finally, here we have the Generations Headmaster Brainstorm with the 2013 BotCon exclusive Headmaster Scorponok. These two are really, really well sized together. I do like them together. Um, this is the first time I've had the two Hasbro Headmasters, uh, modern ones at least, together, and I really, really do like them. I think they're going to go up on the shelf together. Uh, definitely fun looking. And here we have the Headless Horsemen of Headmasters. I really just wanted to kind of show off the different head sculpts and designs of the Headmaster units themselves in comparison to the Hasbro Brainstorm figure. Uh, so real fast, let's take a look at Code and Brainstorm. So here are the two Headmaster units together. Uh, again, you know, pretty well done. Um, 
sculpt on this one, this Brainstorm unit, is really, really nice and very comparable, I think, to the Fans Project version. However, this figure in the robot mode is definitely much more articulated. Uh, here he is with Quadruple U. Now, I think the Quadruple U head sculpt is uh, better designed for sure. Uh, but, yeah, definitely cool. I am really, really digging it. Um, they did a good job with this one. Obviously, he's the bad guy, Decepticon. Here is the Scorpidoc, uh Headmaster unit. Much larger. Of course, it is a bigger figure. I think this one, out of all the Headmasters that I have currently, I think this one actually... Uh, is built the best. It goes on to the body e the easiest, uh, and it's my favorite sculpt. And of course, not to be forgotten, let's take a look at Sigma L's Headmaster unit, aka not Mind Wipe. So here we have the Brainstorm head, and we have Sigma L's head. And again, this one is just way better sculpted. Uh, they just put a lot more detail in this Headsculpt. And here we have a comparison of Brainstorm's Headmaster Pilot with Fans Project Code's Headmaster Partner. And here he is with Sigma L's Headmaster Partner. And here is Quadruple U's Headmaster Partner from Fans Project. As you can see, the Fans Project robots are about the same size. They're just slightly more articulated. And here we have Brainstorm's Headmaster Pilot next to Scorpinox, Headmaster Partner. And there is a size difference and an articulation difference. I definitely like Scorpinox Headmaster unit a lot better. And finally, here we have all the little Headmaster units lined up looking really, really cool. Here we have Brainstorm in his space jet mode, spaceship mode, whatever you want to call it. And it does look cool. It's very reminiscent of the original G1 figure. I do appreciate that. Now, transformation on this Robot 2 Jet is very simplistic, almost too simplistic. Um, yeah, it just, I don't know. It just seems like there could be a little bit more, but I guess it is what it is. It definitely reminds me of an X-Wing. I can see why the Toy World... Uh, version of this guy was definitely X-Wing styled, uh, which is very, very cool. We get this nice long front end here with the two blasters. The wings fold out. He's got the canopy that does uh, pull up so you can put your little pilot in there. Um, overall, I mean, it looks really, really nice. Um, I like the blasters, the paint job. It's got this 1950s powder blue uh, paint job going on. We get the silver there. It's a little bit gappy up here, which is a bit unfortunate. I wish this would have slid in all the way. That would have been really nice. We've got the seat for the pilot, which is really, really cool. Um, i got this nice silver paint picks there, the red and the silver and the Autobot logos looking really, really nice. Um, it'd be cool if you could have done something a little bit more with this back here, but is what it is. We've got the thrusters up there. You can actually transform this figure completely without removing the head if you're afraid of breaking the head off, um, you just can spin the head around to face down and it won't hamper the vehicle at all. We got this nice um, landing gear piece right here. Um, very X-Wing like again, just looks really, really cool. So putting the little pilot in, let's see if we can get him in here. He just kind of sits in there like that. You close the canopy and there he is. He is safe and secure, and the detail on the canopy is really, really nice. I do like that. Looks really, really cool. For size comparison, here is Generations Headmaster Brainstorm with fellow space traveler Generations Cosmos. Here he is with Transformers Combiner Wars Power Glide. Here's Brainstorm with Transformers Combiner Wars Firefly. Here he is with Transformers Combiner Wars Alpha Bravo. Here is Headmaster Brainstorm with Unique Toys Mania King, aka Not Galvatron. And here he is with Transformers Q Bumble. And finally, here is Brainstorm with Transformers Combiner Wars Silverbolt. So is Brainstorm a figure that you want in your Transformers collection? 
Well, if you're a Headmaster or G1 fan, this is an obvious pickup for sure. The robot itself is designed really, really nice. It's that head that you got to worry about. Obviously, you want to get the one that has the corrected QC fix. However, even with that, it still feels very, very weak to me, and I will not be transforming it a lot into jet mode uh, just because of that. It'll sit in robot mode with all my other headmasters happily on the shelf, and I'm okay with that. I definitely like the figure. So there he is, the Transformers Generations Brainstorm Headmaster figure from the thrilling 30th Transformers anniversary. Uh, if you guys like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. Definitely subscribe to my channel, share my videos, add a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think about this figure and any issues that you had with the QC problems or did you find the fixed one? Let me know. And as always, look for more videos in the future.